All right, so I posted this TikTok the other day. And, you know, I, I wasn't even thinking about it. I Sometimes I just grab it and I'll post some shit. I was at work and there's this fat butted Puerto Rican woman who works like two shops down from me. And she has like a health food place and she comes over all the time and she'll fucking like chat it up with me or whatever. So her son is autistic and she tells me all these crazy remedies like Phenibut, like all this, like all these like other remedies and not the Phenibut. She has like nootropics in her shop. She came over and she was talking about how like, autism can be cured if you can get like heavy metals out of your blood and shit like this. Basically said all this shit and I had just remembered that I found those like lead plates and I had them under my bed. I, I told her about that and she was like, oh my God, you got to get them out of the house immediately. And I'll, I'm going to make you like a concoction of shit to like come over here and fucking... I'm gonna like basically she's gonna like sage me or something, but it, in reality she was just gonna make. And then she said one of the ingredients of it was like spirulina, and then somebody in my Discord when I said that was like that's like an artificial sweetener. <laughs> like I was just like God damn it, this woman's crazy. I didn't know. I came home, I got out of my truck, I saw the fucking thing, I saw the fucking thing sitting out by my trash, and I was like. I have to fucking Oh, seaweed, not sea sweetener. What? Uh okay, whatever. But anyway, I uh So anyway, I I found out that also I say in this video that she worked at a radiology clinic. That's not accurate. I knew it was so I knew that wasn't what it was, but for the sake of vi the video, I said that just because I couldn't remember what it was actually called. She works at a nuclear pharmacy, dude. She works at a nuclear pharmacy. So my immediate reaction is like, this is a thing that is it's, it's supposed to like house radiated materials, right? So like, there's no possible way having this under my bed is a good thing. Plus, this other lady had talked me into the fact that like lead is crazy or some shit. So I fucking... I'm like, uh, there's no way this should be under my bed, right? Right. So I get out of my truck and I see it there and I'm like, I had TikTok open. So I said, put the camera on and I made this video. This video got 951,000.8K views. All right. Let's watch it first. <laughs> Ex-girlfriend that works at a radiology clinic. And she gave me this like cool looking case a long time ago. And it just put it under my bed for like the longest fucking time right not thinking about it whatever i opened this bitch up the other day and took this like foam insert out of the inside of it fucking lead plates dude underneath my goddamn bed i thought i was fucking getting dementia or alzheimer's or some shit no just fucking heavy metals in my goddamn brain that All right, so this is a god not that this is not worth a million views. I'm sorry, dude. It's not worth a million views, dude. It's not. It's not worth a million views. But there is 736 comments. 2,392 people have saved this god video. Bro, look, because this is why. Because it has so many views. Because everyone is fucking dogpiling on me in these goddamn comments, bro. This dude thinks lead is radioactive. Bless your heart. I can see why radiology ex-girlfriend is ex-girlfriend. LMAFO. My guy doesn't understand lead poisoning. Unless you're eating lead, it won't do anything to you. Great job leaving it on the curb for someone else to pick up not knowing what it is. And then there's six comments under this comment. It's just lead. Yeah, ever heard of lead poisoning? How exactly do you think you get lead poisoning? Lead poisoning is from huffing paint, you genius. I was actually the one who picked this thing up and made a nice snack, tasted sweet. He didn't pick it up, it's still outside my house right now. So it's heavy metal poisoning through osmosis, motherfucker, you asshole. The irony is that in theory, it, it, it could have been shielding him from the radiation, mother. Funny enough, lead would actually protect him from the radiation due to its high density. Scrap it, all cap. I've been licking this case and now I can't read. <laughs> the people who are calling me fucking stupid, bro. It might be a legit memory problem. It isn't how lead works, LMFAO. This is the person that thinks they're fucking smarter than me, dude. We're gonna go with uh, Rebel Smith.
This is another one of my haters. Okay. You guys get what I'm getting at here, right? He doesn't even know how to work TikTok, bro. Chris says, LOL. Uh, looks like he wasn't smart enough to get a job that's not outside in the sun. You know what I mean? He seems to also enjoy Disney movies. This person says, eat some of it. Jacob says, that's not how it works, bud. You guys, this is a joke. Are y'all slow? I hope this is a joke. I wish it was a joke, too. I'm just stupid. Motherfucker says something about an isotope. Tater Spank says, so what, man? So what Tater Spank has to say about fucking anything. Here's one for you. Any of y'all know what this is? Have you ever seen one? You know what it's for? What's up, Aaron? How you doing? I can get it better. All right, Tater Spank. Slippery snakes. These slugs getting their freak on. I made the mistake of thinking I could get lead poisoning via osmosis. Yeah, I'm getting, I get shit on by 741 people in the comments. But the, it, realistically, what's crazy is like how many people will comment the same fucking thing. And I know it's not out of being funny. It's not like a copy pasta thing. It's got to, it's like a fucking weird clout thing, dude. Straight up. You gave your bag of lead chips to you? Oh. This dude's It's funny how all the people who think I'm stupid Do f manual labor for a living, dude This dude scrubs barnacles off of a f pontoon boat I'm f***ing stupid though, bro Scrape all these little You know what I mean? Come on, bud Alright, Brad I need to read up and see how lead works, evidently. Let's see how fucking Brad works. Brad works hard every day. He sweats behind the back of like a real man. He drives a F-150 and he's got a fat hog. He eats at a truck-o truck every fucking day. And he's got fucking gout. Cause all he eats is fucking carnitas. Fuck you, Brad, you piece of fucking ass shit. Shit from an ass! Fuck you! Fuck you, Brad! Fuck you! Get back in your back on and dig a fucking hole in the ground and fucking drive into it! Motherfucker! Go back to work! How are you gonna pay for that F 150, Brad? All right, Jim. It's not how any of this works. Oh, damn. I didn't know Jim was chill like that. All right, Jim, carry on. I honestly think it's the drugs you were doing that caused your issues. All right, Steven. What's on your profile, Steven? You fucking... All right, first of all, F-150, Oakley's sweat-wicking shirt. Need I fucking say more? This is the conversation he has with his kids. Steven's one of the motherfuckers that wears them shirts on the back with flaps to let his fucking body odor out of it. Fuck you, Steven. Laughing face, you know lead keeps you safe. Private account. Nope, even more apparent. It's a brain issue. All right, bud. To your brain issue. Triangle, located in southern Vermont, has been the place of many mysterious disappearances in the past. On November 12, 1945, 74-year-old Mitty Rivers would be the first to go missing. An experienced local outdoorsman, he separated from four other hunters and told them that he would meet them for lunch at camp. We have a conspiracy theorist here. I think the only conspiracy that I can spot 
is why the fuck your eyebrows so fucking far apart, you long haired ass bitch? What the fuck? Shut up, dude. Look at you, dude. Peter Bryan of the UK. In 1994, Peter Motherfucker looked like a goddamn Anunnaki. Yeah, tie a band, if, you know, if, if you tie a bandana around your head, it'll probably look better. It'll probably hide that huge forehead, and maybe you'll look like you're in the 90s R&B group TLC. Prince Charles Martin that is in the yeah. Middle Ages. This is Tubman used a chicken tack. I'm good. Motherfucking <laughs> Beast Goblin says, why are you sleeping outside? That's pretty funny. No, just stupidity. You don't even have a profile picture, bro. God, I feel so fucking bad, dude. You know, we're done with that TikTok shit. Make sure to subscribe and shit you can find all my links at allmylinks.com slash vickymotor.